scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, almighty God. You are worthy to be glorified. Please be seated. Just for a few minutes and we'll be upstanding. Shabalaka tapa rato kasiere. Jebeke te kosada balado siya na malata. Shabrandos kalabriyatash. Jege te barakosiya da balada ba. Second Chronicles seven verse fourteen. If my people the first three words, they are my people. So we are not talking of those who are not my people. But if my people, more so they are called by my name, he said they shall humble themselves. He didn't say they shall say, I am sorry. Repentance is not brokenness. Brokenness is deeper than repentance. He says, and shall seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven i will forgive their sins and i will not heal them i will heal their land their territory not just heal them but their territory the absence of a broken and contrite spirit is for many of us the mystery behind not only the tragedies of our lives the continued patterns and the reign of darkness over families over territories over individuals that you are a christian is not enough brokenness is a state that god cannot deny what is brokenness brokenness is a state of complete surrender number one Number two, brokenness is a recognition of your imperfections and your inadequacies outside of the mercy and the help of God. This is called brokenness. A recognition of your inadequacies and your imperfections outside of the mercy and the help of God. Brokenness is a spiritual strategy that God designed to kill pride in the life of men. Brokenness is a system in the kingdom. It's a strategy invented by the wisdom of God to kill pride in men. Let me tell you this. Pride is behind the many sufferings of people. Not sin. Pride. Pride. Nobody really suffers for being a sinner. We suffer because of our pride. Our parents suffer because of pride. 
is not their shortcomings it is the refusal to acknowledge that every man is inadequate without god are we together is god speaking to us the power of genuine brokenness it's a strategy that kills pride it's a strategy that kills a sense of self-sufficiency one of the greatest unbecoming of believers that sense of self-sufficiency i can do without god i can do without him i can live without him lord when i have a challenge in my life i will call your attention to help me are we together now yes it doesn't mean that god is not involved but you keep him until you feel it is with it is beyond your power then you say lord can you quickly come and just help me and then go back a broken and a contrite heart is a heart that is perpetually living in the revelation that outside of god i am inadequate are we together psalm 34 verse 18 please give it to us psalm 34 verse 18 psalm 34 and verse 18 please read it it's projected one to read the lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart he said and save it such there are certain people that qualify for his salvation the bible says people who are of a contrite heart that's the reason why you can see some persons will come to church are we together they come they don't have faith are we together they are not even walking in holiness and righteousness as we know but they come with a genuine sense of brokenness and the whole service becomes about them something about the sincerity of their heart attracted god are we together notice the kinds of people that attracted jesus in his ministry he he was hardly attracted by the scribes and the pharisees he would see the sinners and go to them they caught the woman with the issue uh, with, with, with adultery she didn't argue and said no 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 and jesus came and helped her remember when he met the woman who had six husbands five and the sixth one was not her husband look at how jesus took time to reach out to these people let me tell you there is one attribute i know a man can possess that will attract god in a helpless way is a broken and a contrite heart are we together yes that a man can cry unto god from a state of brokenness and say lord if you do not help me my family will not rise we have broken all the laws of financial prosperity we are broken i'm not a tighter we are not tighters we are not givers lord if you don't help us we are finished and you will watch the lord treat them like he treats the lilies of the valley that do not sow neither do they reap yet because they are his creation he will get up and reach out to them in mercy every time people were broken and contrite god responded to them in the book of jonah there was a strange prophet that god gave an instruction to go to nineveh and warn them you know why jonah refused he knew god he knew they would repent he was praying that their, their hardened heartedness would remain so god would punish them for him and he ran away and god drew him back he said go back and the bible says when jonah announced that the people broke themselves in fasting and ashes even their animals fasted these were not people who were believers they were not even of the covenant but they became broken every time people were broken god no longer asked them where they came from a broken and a contrite heart the opposite of pride he said a broken and a contrite heart he will not despise let me tell you this when you walk with god we teach these principles your results at a level in the spirit 
will no longer be based on the accuracy of your applying this principle but that you have come to a place where you have become the friend of God it is important to teach these principles but I submit to you a time will come in your walk with God it's no longer about what you are doing you have won his heart in a way and manner that he has become vulnerable to you you will see things you did not pray for you will enter dimensions you did not fast for because you have maintained a state of genuine brokenness the prodigal son left packed his wealth and went to live a riotous life is that true the bible says one day he came to himself that's what must happen to many people in this day one of this fast he came to himself and said come how many hired servants does my father have while i sit down here and die with the pigs what is there to be ashamed of i will arise and i will go to my father and i will say father i have sinned against heaven and against you and i am not worthy you gave me resources i squandered it in a riotous way the bible says while he was afar off as soon as the father saw him he ran to him notice the father never asked him so where were you all the while a broken and a contrite heart is a magnet for the help and the mercy of god a broken and a contrite heart this is a principle that not only works for god it works for men are we together as wicked as we are as men when you find a man that is broken towards you no matter how hard you are you become as soft as a tissue paper the reason why many of us have lost favor we have lost opportunities we are humans and it is true that at some point you made decisions that was not wise or whatever it is our parents you fought with your boss they fired you something happened but we we thought we were repentant but we were not broken you see brokenness has a spirit you can know a man can come and say sorry hey, jimmy please i want to work for you again sorry and you know that this is just this is just apology this is pride on rampage brokenness has a character it's an unashamed acknowledgement of your humanity and how much it can shred you into pieces except God helps you. There are people who have gotten their jobs back not because they qualified. They came with brokenness. There are relationships that have been restored because the individuals could be broken enough. Are we together? There are business connections that have come back because of brokenness. Listen to what I'm teaching you tonight. It's a very deep mystery. David was a man who understood brokenness thoroughly. 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 Isaiah 57 verse 15. Quickly. Let's look at it. Isaiah 57 verse 15. For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabited eternity, listen, whose name is holy. It says, I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit. To do what? To revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. There are people who are qualified for revival, like a dry and thirsty land. As a man of God, you have come to your wit's end. As a businessman, you have come to your wit's end. And you come to the Lord and say, Lord, I am broken. I acknowledge that if you do not help me, I cannot do anything. And God shows up for you. Someone can be holding his stick of cigarette under a bridge and just sit down and say, God, I don't know if you are there, but you need to help me. It's not like I like my life. I'm sitting this way. Please arise for me. Brothers and sisters, no prayer and fasting, no fill with the Holy Ghost for his spiritual eyes to be opened. There an angel is sent from heaven and it comes to that person there. His brokenness is a magnet. 
he drew the hand of God I have seen God visit families that broke every spiritual law I know learn the laws of the spirit your humanity will necessitate them learn them one of it is brokenness are we together yes David was a man who understood God God don't give me to my enemies punish me by yourself I choose your own way and God said this man this man how many young people have lost the favor of their loved ones because they do not have a heart of brokenness you used to live a wayward life I said now am I not get am I not getting well behaved it's my father not seeing there's no brokenness genuine brokenness I have seen people who are genuinely broken I have seen I have advocated for people who have offended their destiny helpers and I saw the level and the extent of their brokenness I felt guilty leaving them that way I went out of my way to broker reconciliation this is me a man take over Jehovah I have come to the end of myself. Take over, Jehovah. I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah. So take over, Jehovah, I have come to the end of myself, Jehovah, Jehovah, I have touched the end of myself, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm sharing with you this is a very powerful revelation these are the kinds of people that all things work for their good they know what to do to God to change equations you will look at them it is true their family should be caused their father was a herbalist it's true he slew one of the sons it is true that an ordinance is speaking against them and he goes before God he says Lord I, I don't come in my own righteousness. I come before you. Oh God, I never lied that I was a herbalist. I never lied that I collect the charm. It was out of pressure I came before you. Who else will I run to? And God says, who is calling me? Who is call which family is calling me? And while repentance is going on, one devil is there concocting a charm. That man cannot pray in tongues. That man does not even know which scripture should be. He cried and God showed up and said because of what you have done I enter a covenant with your children's children that all of them will be the head and you find out that three generations afterwards all leaders not because they fasted their brokenness was a covenant are we together show me a man that understands brokenness and I show you a man whose end you will never see you will never see i am convinced now and and I, I don't say this in a state of sarcasm i say this sincerely i am convinced that when people fall to a point that their chapter closes the a level of pride was responsible for that are we together hmm. peter saw jesus christ and because of the pressure he ran away and betrayed him. It was not a lie. When Jesus came to him in John 21, he said, little children, have you any catch? He said, cast your net to the right side. When they caught fish, Peter realized it was Jesus. The same Jesus he had betrayed three days ago. The Bible says he ran away. He said, go away from me. I am a sinner. This is not the issue of condemnation. It's a recognition. Jesus, I did this to you. 
and you still come to me I disappointed you I told everyone I did not know you I took advantage of your benevolence but I come to you and Jesus said Simon this attitude has earned you something feed my sheep feed my lamb you qualify to be the leader this is the kind of attitude that is leader worthy an attitude that is unashamed before me there are many proud people moving up and down I don't drink I don't smoke I don't look for women I don't look for men and our pride keeps us there every time we see people rolling before God and crying their hearts we sit down there with a sense of self-perfection full of our pride full of our jealousy full of our lust just because it has not yet manifested does not mean it's not there and when there is an opportunity to cry before God we sit down saying ah, uh -uh you mean that lady is also praying wow thank god the koinonia is helping some people a broken and a contrite heart a heart that is unashamed before god a heart that can roll from end to end and say lord you are the helper you are the coverer you are the defender of my life the psalmist knew this he said, I'm aware that many are they that trouble me. Many are they that look, they pray for my downfall. If you do not understand brokenness, you will fall like a chicken. It will surprise you. Your rising has a side effect to many people. And they hope and pray daily that something happens in your life. And if you understand brokenness, you have held God in a way and manner that he will never leave you. This I know about God. A broken and a contrite. Believers are very proud people. We exaggerate the teachings of faith. We exaggerate the teachings of righteousness. And it makes us proud people. And we cannot tremble at his word. And allow his spirit to walk on us. That's why there is no power. That's why there is no grace. That's why there is no favor. That's why there are no results. A sense of self-sufficiency. Take over, take over. I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah. 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 I have come to the end. Brokenness is a mystery that attracts the mercy and the help of God to a man's life. A mystery that attracts the help and the mercy of God. When God is ready to show you mercy, do you know God can help men? How many of you believe that? Do you know God can help men? Ha! There are very few people that have seen the help of God. This is not men favoring you. This is God deciding that I want to help you. I have helped people in my life by the grace of God. And I have seen how easy their lives became because I could reach out to them. God can turn to a man and say, me, Alpha Omega, I have decided to come to your family to help you. It will surprise you what will happen. Most of us do not know what the help of God can do. He said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. Not my neighbor's own. I don't know how he gets his own. But my help. You see us like this. The name of this ministry is Ebenezer. A ministry that has been helped by God. Helped spiritually. Helped with grace. Some of these mysteries are not just a product of personal research. Some of them are a sheer help of God. That God comes to you by himself and says I want to help you God can help men when God helps you something will change about your life there are many families that don't help have the help of God because our loved ones are there in their pride and arrogance I think we should go and see a man of God I know God too and God says you see you see it now a broken and a contrite heart let's go and cry to God ah, didn't I tell my wife sorry didn't I tell my husband sorry there's no brokenness genuineness 
some of us seated here this is the one limitation that makes satan to buffet our lives and yet god seems to stand helpless everybody say genuine brokenness genuine brokenness that a man can come to a point where he goes to god i remember a woman who shared her a testimony very touching testimony she was staying in a house um, a, a, a rented apartment very wealthy man you know somewhere in abuja and true story she could not pay you know there was no way it's not the issue of give me time there's nowhere money is going to come from anywhere and the woman was broken because she still had the fees of her children this woman sent me a text by herself she said when she, it was very obvious that the boss was the the owner was going to drive her that the woman said she just knelt down before him and said you have children like this one and she was crying she said it's not my fault that my husband died i didn't kill him it's not my fault that I didn't have the opportunity to be educated. I'm not lazy. It's just condition that has kept me like this. If you drive me, where do I go to? This woman started crying and according to what she told me that the man just kept quiet and looked at her and was touched. He said, I have children and I have conscience. I will never do this. He said, continue to stay here. It's not your own, but just continue to say, forget about rent. Because of this thing you have done, I've given you this. The help you know many of us want to seek help at our own terms pride and help don't go together are you hearing what i'm saying please emeka i hear you're a doctor can you treat me you are the one who is sick oh god are you not seeing what is this family is doing we need five million to solve our problems i come by the blood of the lamb as, as if you, you you ask him to die and in the name of jesus christ pride that's what the bible calls it i watch people all around from pastors to leaders and in all honesty i see that price oozing out desperate for help but not broken enough to receive it there are people who are desperate for help but the brokenness that qualifies them to receive their knees will not go to the ground i don't mean physically their knees will not go to they want to be helped but they want to be helped at their own terms sorry do you have 100 naira? can you help me it's not by force if you don't have that's all right that's a proud man he's hungry he's in need and he's ashamed he's not my culture to beg i'm, I'm just it's, i just felt like and it's not usually what i do i just hope that you can help me pride those kinds of people never get the attention of god thou son of david thou son of david please thou you are the son of david others call you jesus but i i know what they've been saying about you have mercy i don't know what what it takes to stand up from here and i'm not sure i even have it look at the father of that guy that was convulsing he said help my own belief i don't understand this your faith thing i've done all i know to be faith please if i'm not getting it right if you leave me here to learn faith this child can die before i finish learning it help my own belief and god turned who is this notice how god was helplessly drawn to people who were broken is god speaking to us lord i need your grace and i need your anointing i'm not i'm not coming to act as if we are colleagues lord i'm standing if you give me anointing fine mm -mm -mm. i'm not ashamed i need thee oh i need thee every hour i need thee come bless me now my savior i come to thee i need thee oh i need thee every hour I need thee come bless me now my Savior I come listen when you truly need help don't act like you can do without it are you hearing what I'm saying brokenness is a force it can draw help to you there are many destiny helpers around us 
but our pride is what stops us from receiving help it doesn't take God anything to change a man's life overnight is this attitude of pride oh promise I hear that um, you are an anointed man can you just agree with me I have issues in my life uh, but if you are not if you are free that's all right you expect that anointing to work I'm not talking of human worship it's the same way we approach God we approach God with our pride and our sense of being. this is not condemnation this is a recognition if you hear the way I pray for koinonia to scare you you will think I killed a human being Lord it is by your mercy that you draw people this afternoon I just laid down on my bed flat and I said Lord it is by your mercy you change people it is your voice that is able to change people you are the only one who will draw people I don't take for granted what you are doing I will never act like I don't need you and here he comes again a broken and a contrite heart what prophecy did you cancel through pride what prophecy stopped working in your life because there was no genuine brokenness this kingdom thrives on mysteries I'm unveiling one of them for you so that you will see Ezekiel 36 verse 26 you want a new heart you want to rise in the spirit it takes brokenness Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 26 was we we're going to pray shortly very quickly he says a new heart also I will give you and a new spirit will I put within you I will take away the stony heart this is this is the heart of many of us here a stony and stubborn heart he says and I will give you a heart of flesh that's the Bible let me show you one more scripture very powerful scripture I found Jeremiah 24 verse 7 Jeremiah 24 verse 7 very solid scripture listen it says and I will give them an heart to know me that I am the Lord I will give you a heart that will make you know me it says and they shall be my people and I will be their God why for they shall return to me with their whole heart it shall return to me with their whole heart a broken and a contrite heart towards God and towards men there are nations that would never go for war if their leaders can just admit we were careless we compromised on the deal I'm sorry but millions go hungry and in war because of the pride of one person over my dead body you hear them say many of the yokes that are on our families came because of the pride of one person one person one person one arrogant person no over my dead body and the Havali said to me say yes and we grew up in all kinds of yokes of darkness how many people offended a very old woman pushed her down and she said my daughter what did I do leave me alone is it that you don't have eyes to see and the woman looks you say you did this to me your children will do it to you and the foolish girl moves around thinking that it's all about catwalking and many years later her innocent daughters come beautiful wonderful people when a man comes as soon as he says I love you what will happen to him he will leave you by himself that's why God put this Gen if my people who are called by my name they are called by my name but the devil is still beating them left right and center he never said I don't have the power to save are we together he said but they shall humble themselves and then pray and then seek my face and turn from their wicked ways under that condition I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal their lands go and watch the documentary about Fiji Island the revival in Fiji Island that's what happened many years ago missionaries came to Fiji Island 
and then the people slaughtered the missionaries and killed them and the missionaries when they slaughtered them everything died in that land the fishes disappeared mysteriously from the sea it's a documentary you can go and watch everything went down they will plant crops locusts will come from nowhere and devour it and then one time a group of Christians who had been exposed said look this thing is not just the issue of we are Christians there has to be a way of making peace are we together in the New Testament restitution is not necessarily just about going back to go and say oh I stole five naira when I was five years but restitution is a state in the heart a genuine state this our pride in the body of Christ is why we don't see the power of God we just jump at anything just because of a little theological study we did here and there and do you know the people in the land came together intercessors began to pray a few weeks turned to months and one time in the midst of that prayer the spirit of prophecy came and he said look you people have to pray this land has taken the blood of those who were bearers of good news and they sat down they prayed and they cried before God they said Lord you have to help us and fortunately for them they were able to get in touch with the grandchildren of the ministers they slaughtered and the Christian missionary said it's true we have repented but since these people are there can't we reach out to them and they wrote a letter to them and the young people say we are not coming you people slaughtered our grandparents we had the story you didn't even allow us to see their body they removed their head and danced around with them in shrines and eventually the Christian organizations called the people and they came and do you know they had it was like a ceremony they made peace they hugged them and the little children say no 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 our parents have died but their blood flows to us and you are repentant we bless you the people who did this thing have long died you shouldn't be the victims of this we bless you it was not up to one week they started seeing fishes mysteriously in the sea the water the vegetation go and read it Fiji Island the the like the president of Fiji Island officially dedicated the place to God mysteries that people do not know and we cheat ourselves here and there a broken heart show me somebody who has offended God to whatever and can run to God and say Lord I come to you show me a man who has offended a human being and can run to the person genuinely remember Jesus taught about this in the parable of the servants unjust servants one of them went and cried master forgive me and all of that and all of that and they forgave him and then he did not go to make peace with the other one and then they now dealt with him that story was a message that you can run to him and you can cry and he will hear you if my people if koinonia a ministry called by my name shall humble themselves most of us every time we hear this thing we just think it's just for sinners it's for bad people me God knows I've tried that thing is pride is pride when it's time to be broken before God you are broken genuinely Lord it is by your mercy it is by your grace I need your help in my life men are getting more wicked I need your help I counseled a dear woman I'm sure she may be here and when I counseled her I saw the kind of trouble she you know as I counsel people my heart reaches to them I've been doing this for years there are cases when you hear you know that only God no matter how well meaning you are you can't help that situation the only and and the way they come to you man of God help me and you too you know that you can't help. it takes it takes only one who sits on God's throne to be able to help do you believe God can help you my life is a testimony of a man that God has helped God can help men it's a language we don't know most of our loved ones don't know it they believe men can help 
but they don't believe God can help the key is brokenness some of those who have received the mercy of God most are some of the most disobedient people that's what pains some of us because you are roommates with them and you see the way God keeps going out the moment they are broke oh Lord an alert comes and you are there you come back from three days dry say father I'm still here say you, you will continue being there and you watch there's no brokenness in your heart somebody comes and says Lord help me you know my situation there are people who God changed their exam scores because of brokenness they went to God and said Lord please help me I take responsibility I didn't read it is obvious that if this result comes out I have two years and they rolled before God and cried I'm not talking of the mystery of a dance this is not dancing it's not every time you dance there are times you lie down and cry and God comes to them and all of a sudden the course comes out and you see a eh, something they didn't finish answering question one out of five questions who taught us that God has stopped helping men he said Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped marvelously God can help a man of God and in one month your life and ministry will change God can help a family some of these things we are struggling with it takes God to help us you attract his help one of the things that I believe believers and I say this from the strength of counseling there are two spirits that believers must cry that God should help I know we are humans and I don't mean to condemn you masturbation and pornography two devils of darkness that the devil uses to tear people into pieces it starts from their dreams when something good is about to happen a breakthrough is about to happen there the spirit comes again and you find out that the favor goes then the urge leaves too I'm yours I'm yours I'm yours forever I'm yours I'm yours I'm yours Lord I'm yours I'm yours I'm yours forever I'm yours I'm yours I'm yours Sing one more time There are women who the secret to the baby you are looking for is brokenness i've met every man of god they prayed for me I've, uh, uh, brokenness carry your medical report you have five brought here you have five brought here you put it on the ground and let your tears do the praying oh god will you not help me oh god my father served you till he died he died as a missionary for the sake of your mercy remember mercy and you are crying and you fall asleep and here comes an angel sent from heaven and he comes to you just touches your stomach and you get up and go to the hospital doctor check me again and they say it's a joke where did you go to the helper the helper showed up in your house koinonia our families need help if we don't humble ourselves recession will punish us to our knees we need help there are families that need to come together and just get down on their knees from the greatest to the least to say lord i am the priest in this home but i'm officially lifting this family we need your help we are broken we are broken see the Bible says even a thief when he's caught, if the thief tells you I only stole because I was hungry, he says pity him. Bible. It, this is the Holy God speaking. 
that's why God will look at a prostitute somewhere and we say God condemn her and God looks in the midst of her prostitution what he's seeing is Lord I need help I've been doing this thing for 10 years but I need help and God suddenly sends a very powerful man of God he said that's your wife and you are there saying God this is cheating I've been in church God said well I promote who I can promote and demote any proud person I can demote this is the reason why we are angry at some people's results because it looks like it's not fair God should not help them with the way their lives are but God when your heart is right before God God will surprise you I am a keeper of principles but I can tell you this I have been committed to stand up and help people no matter how stupid they are because of something about their brokenness when you see me pray for koinonia and pray for my own life it, it will irritate you if you are praying with me I don't cry before men but don't be deceived I cry before God with my life I lie down before him and I say Lord help me help me are you getting blessed we are going to pray this is what we must engage tonight many of us need to cry on behalf of our proud family members ten ladies no marriage go to the house of God God forbid all that place in that church that they gossip about people God wants to I won't come there I'm, I'm too no 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 I won't do that you can stand on their behalf and say Lord if you depend on my family's faithfulness you will never bless us Lord I'm advocating Lord my father is a proud man but I cry for the sake of Jesus for the sake of what the Lord has done on the cross please step in for my family sickness is eating everyone Lord we have broken every rule every law I now know it is true that my father has 10 girlfriends somewhere but Lord if you use him to punish us Moses knew what to do for Israel God was angry he said these guys are in idolatry I will curse them Moses said God calm down Abba are you not merciful and compassionate do you want them to say you brought these people out and could not take them to the promised land and God repented whatever you answer me I surrender this is the condition to see the mercy and the grace of God Whatever you ask me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. I surrender. That's my commitment. That nothing becomes too much to release to you. Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. I surrender. Just prophesy it as a song. We are going to pray shortly. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. I surrender. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. One more time. Whatever you ask of me, Lord, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. Hmm. Whatever you ask of me, I'm yours. I'm yours. I'm yours forever. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. Lord, it's yours. It's yours. It's yours, it's yours forever. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. Hallelujah. Before you start claiming right, 
tonight is a night of thorough brokenness before God I'm going to give you the next five to ten minutes alone before we start praying corporately whether it's on your chair just I'm going to leave you alone with God everybody find a way alone with God break your pride whether you are inside or outside this is you are alone with God and say Lord mercy 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 for my family mercy for my finances for my spiritual life Lord do not judge my family according to their iniquities for they are many Lord do not judge my sisters according to their wrongs do not judge my brothers Lord if you do not show my mother mercy there is no salvation if you do not show my father mercy Lord save my territory they are an idol worshipping territory they still worship idols have mercy I come to you with a broken heart Lord there are charms in my house right now I come to you with a broken heart pray pray Forever, I'm yours. I'm yours. I'm yours. Lord, I'm yours. I'm yours. Then I'm yours. Then I'm yours. Forever, I'm yours. I'm yours. I'm yours. Lord, if you depend on my attitude, I will never get married. Lord, if you depend on my prayer life then I will never see your hand Lord if you depend on my faith level I will never break through in the spirit but tonight I cry I come to you with genuine brokenness forever 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 Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. Lord, if you leave me to my results, I will never graduate. Lord, if you leave me to my jam call, I may never get admission. Where is the helper of my destiny? Arise for me. I cry before you. Oh God of Jeshurun. Arise and take away the shame of my family. There are times in this kingdom I admit to you where it is not the quality of your keeping the mysteries of the kingdom but your ability to invoke the help of God through brokenness there are businesses that the people don't know anything about finance they cried before God and God arose and said I choose to wipe your tears There are families who based on the way they train their children all the children should be arm robbers and prostitutes but not one of them is a spoiled child because somewhere along the line the parents had to hold their hands together 
and say lord help us help us this cry can give you a job i tell you this cry can give you a husband based on the way you are no good man should come to you it's not a lie but the mercy the mercy of god Just a few more minutes of genuine brokenness. Whatever you ask me, say, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. If you are not seriously praying, you are a non believer. If you are not praying in this atmosphere genuinely, then I'm telling you something is wrong with your passion for God. Lord, let the desires of my enemies not come upon me. Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. There are many who lie in wait, waiting for your family to fail, to prove, but that God by his mercy can fit you and help you. I surrender. Oh God Oh God. As we call on your name Oh God As pour out your mercy As we pray for his help oh, oh, oh God as we call on your name oh, oh God as we pour out your mercy Lord as we for you.
the Lord is graced and compassionate slow to anger and rich in love my Bible says his mercies are new every morning just one more minute and we'll pray corporately and we're done The Lord held the hands of Cyrus, an unbeliever, and prospered him. Because of the pride of God's own people, he gave them over to their enemies. It is not the witchcraft in your family that is killing you. It is the lack of brokenness that is authorizing the spells to keep working. There is a way your repentance can be so genuine. The Lord will arise for you by his mercy. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. Ah. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Prophesy to yourself two more times. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. One more time. Sing. the spirit uncomfortable with an environment that it left on its own without the particular desire of a man to, to drive it think about this if this guy has a demon spirit and I lay hands on him and cast out the demon spirit I thought if the demon spirit is somewhere somebody should be able to drive it back but the demon says on his own that environment without any human intervention does something to that demon spirit that makes it restless the same way a man of God's anointing is driving it and he starts moving back and say it is even better compared to what I am facing here it is better to go back to that human being in Matthew chapter 4 you also find that account in Luke chapter 4 watch this when Jesus went to fast I want to tell you certain things about strongholds and about this we're going to pray but i want there are things that believers that's why i told you i struggle to share what i'm sharing there is a whole series on this that is coming jesus the bible declares that jesus is the embodiment of the godhead is that true and the bible calls him full of grace and truth now jesus goes to fast Jimmy, Jesus is fasting and Satan is waiting for him. Instead of the fasting to drive demons, the fasting was attracting Satan. Listen. <laughs> Satan is not afraid of Jesus. Satan is not even afraid of the fact that Jesus is fasting. This is Jesus being the son of God alone should command respect. Then fasting for 40 days, no food, no water. Satan is not afraid. Then Satan comes to Jesus, looks at Jesus. Jesus is looking at him back. I thought Satan would be rolling and shouting and moving up and down. Church has never scared Satan. The presence of God has never scared Satan. Listen carefully. <laughs> Just, just take it in first like an injection. Let it enter and settle down. Then we'll continue. In the book of Job, Job chapter 1, the Bible says, once upon a time, the sons of God went to show themselves to the Lord. Is that true? And the Bible says, Satan, at that time, he had fallen. Otherwise, God would not ask him, where are you coming from? Is that true? 
satan goes before god and he said where are you coming from he said from moving to and fro the earth what location the earth and he says have you considered my servant job and then this is what satan says there was something you put around job he never said job's prayer he never said job's fasting i every time i came to job i saw that there was something that surrounded him that i could not even touch him it made me uncomfortable i could not remain with job and he said take that thing away and watch what how i will rob his job what was satan's request it not make me more powerful not make job more powerful whatever it is and this is what job said in the days of my youth when the secrets of the lord was upon my tabernacle those secrets built a fortification in the realm of the spirit and the bible says satan came not a demon he came by himself whether job was praying or not the fortifications were there he was a man of prayer he was a man of power satan feared job but he stood before god satan feared job but he went before god and stood he said i couldn't stand before this guy but i can come to stand before you it's your bible i'm, I'm not reading a, a, a it's your bible are you getting blessed and then all of that began to happen and job's life went down and then job's life came back again now watch this in luke chapter 4 let's go back to our text give us luke chapter 4 jesus just finished praying and fasting you are praying now you are fasting is that true in your mind you believe that this praying and fasting you are doing is supposed to drive out all kinds of demons there is only a kind that prayer and fasting drives says jesus our chief mentor and apostle this kind this kind there is a kind because of the nature of their operation that praying and fasting we are fasting together so listen to what i'm telling you now look at how this verse starts please listen jesus comma being full of the holy ghost again then goes to fast i mean he, he returned from jordan and was led of the spirit into the wilderness jesus the bread of life the holy ghost number two fasting added prayer 40 days then let's see what happens after 40 days he was tempted of the devil satan came to tempt jesus that word tempt dear is a very interesting word please follow me and the bible says and he was hungry verse 3 verse 3 and the devil said so this is the tempting now the bible says satan tempted him and the other verses are explaining the content of the temptation are we together how did satan tempt jesus if thou be the son of god command this stone that it be made bread verse 4 and jesus answered satan talked to jesus and was not afraid jesus the word put the word in his lips and was speaking that word did not cast out satan please listen to me i want you to be so powerful and should be so free we have inherited a lot of religion and this is why we keep doing a lot of things and there are no results in our lives listen listen carefully he said jesus said to him answered satan asked jesus a question jesus is replying back remember this is jesus and satan if they were angels they'll say this guy is wasting his time somewhere satan came directly to jesus what makes you think he will not come to you he went to the throne he went to the son that man shall not live jesus said it is written now this one we can we can dwell here forever because this is jesus the word and yet he's saying it is written he didn't say i said he went to scripture it is written the bible says all scriptures were inspired by the holy ghost and jesus still said it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word of god and that was him standing 
man shall not live by bread alone but by every word of God and Jesus is standing and Satan is not afraid what was wrong with his confession was it the scripture that was wrong or the person was unholy or the utterance was wrong and Satan still stood if you get what I'm teaching you you will know why regardless of what people are doing it looks like Satan still remains now listen this is even the fearful part temptation number two Satan take him up how did he do it Satan take not the baby Jesus Jesus who had received the baptism of the Holy Ghost Satan told him come and he took him into a high mountain now this is the fearful part and showed him all the kingdoms of the world just flash like that and then here was Satan's proposal look how shameless Satan is we don't know how shameless he is that's why we think just by standing as they said and live my life and you will leave you you are joking you watch what happened between him and Jesus and the devil said unto him again this is the living word this is the logos of God all this power I will please talk to me what was the power that he would give him anointing what did he call power the kingdoms the systems the governments he called them power I will give you and the glory of them for that is delivered unto me and to whomsoever I will I give it do you know what Satan was telling Jesus in heaven you drove me but this one is my territory are we together now I have influenced the government I have influenced the system this one belongs to me if you ever see anybody rise I made it happen and so you better negotiate with me this is Satan he's not unaware that this is the living logos but he tells him how can I be in a territory and you want to lift somebody and bypass me he said look let me tell you this is what you are trying to look for he made it flash before him and he said I will give you he called all of them power the question is how did he get it I used to think he just got it from Adam yes he got the keys from Adam but how did he get the governments how did he get the systems to a point that he says it is my own I will give anybody I want to give it follow me Ezekiel 28 your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and I will forever sing your praise. Ezekiel 28, verse 14. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. And I will forever sing your praise. I will sing. I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will see out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your word. And I will forever sing your praise. This was a story, listen carefully, of what we call the pre Adamite dispensation. This was a dispensation before Adam, the man that we know. Are we together? The Bible, Ezekiel the prophet is giving access to Revelation and he's speaking about the king of Tyre whose life parallels with that of Lucifer in the days of his glory. Now listen, I hope you know that Lucifer was created. Is that true? And the Bible acknowledges that Lucifer, please help that person, the Bible acknowledges that Lucifer was a cherub. Is that true? A cherub higher than the realm of angels. Are we together? Because by, on, by this time, the mortal man Adam was not in the equation. So after God, directly under him were the cherubs or the cherubims. Under the cherubims were the seraphims. 
then the seraphims and were the angelic keda and then the humanoid species that existed within that civilization are we together this was the organogram and then this is a description of lucifer he says thou art the anointed cherub who anointed him listen who anointed him god himself anointed him and the bible says that covereth the word covereth there is the word influence that you are an anointed cherub he says i have set this so so it was part of the predeterminate counsel of god that there be a cherub that is given an anointing are we together now most of you must have heard it the word anointed there is the word mimshak you know that the word mimshak there means uh, the direct hebrew rendition means to spread like to push your tentacles the extended meaning also means to multiply your influence within a region so this is the kind of anointing that he was given and the gift and the callings of god are without repentance are we together now listen satan was given this anointing that means satan also depends on the very power of god to still be satan today are we together so we are seeing that satan got this anointing himself from god he said i have set this so that was upon the holy mountain of god thou dost walk up and down in the midst of the stones of fire most people just teach that all satan was doing was worship in heaven um it's not exactly so yes it is true that his description he said that was perfect in thy ways in in the day that that was created till iniquity was found every angel has a will satan too has a will there is nobody in heaven and on earth that is serving god by force they can choose to rebel that's why when satan chose to rebel listen carefully god himself had respect for his rebellion but when you make whatever decision you'll be ready for the consequence now watch this let's see how this corrupted anointing worked if you don't understand this you will be surprised a Jimmy, this is heaven where God dwells. Lucifer's anointing is corrupted. And Lucifer's anointing in the presence of God, the epicenter of heaven, influenced one third of the angels. One third. This is heaven where God dwells. And the power of that anointing exerted something on their wheels. Their wheels. He never changed any angel. Look at the warfare that happened in heaven. That Satan, what did he say to the angels that they preferred him to God? Look at the throne room and the 24 elders. Yet Satan came with an anointing and spoke something. And one third of the angels said, we will give up the throne room for you. Thou anointed cherub that covereth. Are you seeing how he won the kings of the earth in a moment? Are you seeing how he won the governments and the systems? And he came to Jesus. He said, have you forgotten? I am still anointed. Though corrupted. Anyone you want with influence is under my care. There is an anointing. I was the light bearer of heaven. Satan is a master at manipulating the minds of people. Look how easy he entered Peter. Peter close to jesus he just came at will in the presence of jesus and jesus looked and said this is satan peter this is not you peter did not even know this is how easy it is jesus was on a mission satan distracted jesus to a mountain jesus had to return back the anointed cherub let me show you where the power of satan is it's not just in witchcraft the power of satan is in his ability to capture the wheels of men of systems of governments you see that so give us second corinthians 10 again paul was watching this in a vision while it was being shown him and paul said so this is it the weapons of our warfare are not carnal it's not just about demons and spirits because a demon is in the wilderness and there was no human being to occupy and on his own there he said i will go back where humans are because in the wilderness there are no wheels 
is inanimate let me go where there are human wheels and then i manipulate them listen satan controls the earth by controlling the minds and controlling systems and controlling governments this is a mystery that i show you when satan comes to you he will not tie your hands he is a master there is an anointing the very power of god working in him and until god fortifies you you will fall for his deceit satan desired to sift you like wheat he's telling peter satan desired whereas peter had already fallen since this is powerful peter satan came to him are you seeing why satan entered judas look how easy it was for him to come into the camp of jesus and just manipulate people to the point that he almost got jesus get semeny jesus was there father ah, and he said no nevertheless not my will listen satan went to the wife of a of herod and gave her a dream to advise her husband and she got up and said i had a dream this man is innocent don't kill him he looks like a good thing if they didn't kill jesus there would not be salvation satan for you are we together he's a master manipulator if god does not help you your mind is a child's play for him he will beat you at this game there is an anointing on him satan in heaven that there is a roll call he was talking to the angels one by one the billions of angels in heaven he won one third of them to the point that they were ready to dismember themselves and leave their original estate This is the one we are dealing with. And Paul said, listen, your focus should be on this mind. The mystery of strongholds. That the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, right? But to the pulling down of strongholds. That's God's emphasis. You want to win Satan? Pull down strongholds. Cast down imaginations. Imaginations 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 why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing genesis 11 nothing they have chosen to do that they have imagined cast down imagination so the bible says let this mind be in you philippians chapter 2 and verse 5 let this mind there is a kind of mind that must be in you which was also in christ jesus let this mind be in you that was also in christ jesus that without this mind being in you that was also in christ jesus satan will beat you at the game hands down there is an anointing he deceived angels in the presence of god satan came to jesus and attempted to sway jesus the first time he didn't quote a scripture then when Jesus replied him, he took him to the mountain. Then the third time he quoted scripture, they shall keep the charge. It is not the quoting of scripture that brings victory, my brother, my sister. That's why Satan can be in a meeting. A demon can be with someone, a pastor is preaching. An anointed man is preaching. The demon is joining the person who is inside listening to. Say hallelujah, he's clapping, he doesn't stop you. And all of a sudden, something happens and the same demon starts jumping out. Didn't he fear the praise and worship? How many times did they yell the name of Jesus? Shout Jesus, everybody. You shouted Jesus. He was still there. Quiet. That's how you can share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus, he will share it with you and live too. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Listen, the most important part of you that Satan wants is not your body. 
the most important part of you that satan wants is not your spirit the most important part of you that satan wants is your mind understand this your mind interfaces your body and your spirit when satan gets your mind he gets two for one he gets your body and your spirit this is the bible i'm showing you because for years i kept wondering why it looked like satan was not afraid of many things about god you close your bible and lie down on it and sleep yet the demons come and press you how many of you have fasted three days dry and on the third day you had a wicked dream demons came and oppressed you you've not even broken the fast you spent time blasting in tongues and you came towards men of god and we said you don't have faith it's a lie it's a lie there are not many things satan is afraid of i've listed some of them for you we think he fears everything no sir satan is never afraid of the presence of god he's only afraid of what the presence of god does to you you not the presence of god there are people who make this bible in publishing homes that are currently filled with demons inside them yet they are publishing bibles i have ministered deliverance to pastors mighty men and women of god with power who are also themselves anointed to deliver people the mystery of strongholds that satan captures territories and captures individuals by doing something to their minds this is what is called witchcraft here's what paul said oh foolish galatians who has bewitched you not about drinking blood and eating flesh he sells a proposition to you in a way and manner that will force you to receive it and by it you give up the power do you know if jesus saw that kingdom and did that satan would rather collect salvation and give him kingdom remember jesus was about to be coronated after his death to be given a name that is above all names both of things in heaven on earth and under the earth and satan said let me give you on earth it looked like a wonderful idea are we together so paul says we are not unaware of his not his power satan has many devices many 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 devices from the word stratomai devices different ways he can come up with all kinds of plans to manipulate the minds of believers this is jesus satan stands before god and talks to god and god still respected the free will of satan listen I'm going to tell you some i know that i've attacked so many things today and many people now will insult me again because of all of this but let me tell you this i love the body of christ but i want you to be powerful for many years we were taught that satan can never access the presence of god it's a lie it's a lie it's not true there was no place for him found in heaven means that the office he occupied was no longer there but he could access the presence of God he still can in the New Testament or at least in the ministry of Jesus Satan came to Jesus many times he came to Jesus in Peter he came to Jesus in Judas he came to Jesus by himself he was not afraid it is not the presence of God that scares so that you have the Holy Spirit inside you and then people say there's nowhere satan can come close to you be careful jesus luke chapter 4 verse 1 was full of the holy ghost and yet satan came to him after fasting you would think the fasting would have driven him away is that true but after the fasting was attracting him and he came but there was something jesus did he didn't just say it is written it is written what was satan looking for remember that whole thing was about words and information 
there is an information and Jesus gave him another information the moment he found out that Jesus was informed the Bible says he withdrew so when Satan comes to you he does not search he searches for if what do you have what residue of mystery do you have what do you know about him and what don't you know about him and he can manipulate you and beat you hands down brothers and sisters what does Satan tell a man that makes him to join occult what does Satan tell a man that he can carry his child and slaughter the child and while blood is coming out he's laughing Satan was not there holding the knife the influence was the strength of the man by himself Satan only left him with an information and went to bed and that man slaughters the child what does Satan tell a man that he dedicates a whole land to Satan an intelligent man look at Jezebel look at Jezebel under her watch the powers that be if you serve God Almighty you have to go on hiding the prophets of Baal were flourishing because a woman who sat on the seat of government could manipulate the minds look at what Satan did to Herodias a small girl dances before a man and then a man comes and says what do you want even if it's up to half of my kingdom I will give you is that normal listen one of the ways Satan has destroyed our lives and our families is through witchcraft but it is not witchcraft as we know he uses our imagination and distracts us into thinking it is just the drinking blood part of it and the old woman there whereas the true point of access of victory is something that he does to our minds and our imaginations to keep us through why does satan love pictures why do you go to bed and satan uses the face of your own mother to come and strangle you and you get up in the morning he never told you anything you just went to bed and saw the face of your mother and you got up and went to a prophet and then satan now shows a true prophet the face of your mother too and he confirms with what he sent to you in the dream and says your mother is a witch and you're a powerful prayer warrior yet you walk around believing your mother is a witch are you getting what i'm telling you the anointed cherub he was not just a musician no no he was not just a musician there was an anointing on satan for unusual influence over the minds of people that's what we call mimshak that anointing you see was given to satan god still gives it to men are we together this is not just some mm -mm. the when you see any man commanding strange dimensions of influence and getting loyalty over the minds of people whether in the secular whether in the christendom it is that same anointing that is operational a wicked man like saddam hussein look at terrorists can you imagine there are still people enrolling in terrorist groups today young boys will sit down and say i want to become Hapa. someone goes to school and studies medicine for six years and just donates himself is that normal there is a grace that was the grace that jesus put on these disciples on learned men and in one day the bible said they were caught in the heart men and brethren what do we do and from that day to death they stayed with him the same grace that satan used to deceive one third of the angels that fell all power i'm not saying to use demon powers or this i'm explaining something powerful to you that when god wants to give you influence he gives you an anointing that does something to the minds of men Break every chain. Break every chain. That that is the kind of anointing that people go to the occult and say, I want to start a business. Listen carefully. And they bargain with Satan, the spirit of the Antichrist. They won't tell you. Listen, let me tell you this. 
if you are in this kingdom there is a meter on earth that watches the rising of men there is a level where if you are rising in life and satan is not aware he will come to you trust me he will come to you and say i i'm seeing that you are doing something notable on earth and you have bypassed me what is the issue we can negotiate and it will continue most people will never tell you i don't care whether you are a man of god or you are a businessman there is a level on this earth you cannot rise to until you go through look for experience satan must come he will find a way of coming to you i shared with you years ago one night when i was praying in the spirit in the night is that true and all of a sudden i saw that my the the zinc everything just opened up and i saw a strange creature the eyes were as big as the head of a man and i saw it the tail was another living thing and it was fuming and looking at me and he said you think you can bring god's people to a place of abundance i shared that encounter he will come the realm of the spirit watches the progress of men there is an there is a level where if you are rising and playing around it doesn't threaten hell but when you get to a level they will come i assure you everybody you see who has risen without god knows what i'm telling you they will act like they don't know it from businessmen to investors to heads of government to presidents there are positions you can never rise until that negotiation is sealed look at solomon what happened to solomon after offering a thousand bond offerings god too came to him and said solomon let's do something only two of them knew if not that solomon told you you will just know he got up in the morning strange influence nobody rises like that is a lie there must be a visitation i want to be great in the name of jesus i'll be greater than bill gates get ready for look for something will happen do you know why i'm saying this because some of you you'll be surprised the two of this fast while you are fasting you go to bed in the night and here comes your ancient one idol in your family that has not appeared in 100 years he comes to you and say what what is going on in this koinonia you are part of i say your your father was a rich man do you know what made him rich say i know he went to harvard is a nonsense let me tell you there was a negotiation i hear that this young man is teaching you something are you ready to agree with me and no government can stand you or will you negotiate and i frustrate you and you say satan is it not this anointing there is the god the giver of all grace access to the minds of people listen what happened in babylon when those three boys were rising the satan was uncomfortable and because he he acts out his will by men every time you start rising watch what happens to the men around you have you not seen that some of you as you are coming to this fast now those who were at peace with you have started quarreling fighting you there is something happening in the realm of the spirit you make up your mind i'm i'm going to marry right i'm going to live right and then you are walking satan does not disturb you but there is a level you are a man of god you are rising anointing you are winning souls a day will come you will have strange visitations and satan will say look you are not the only man of god rising we can negotiate this i won't disturb your assembly you will grow with wildfire but you are part of those kingdoms that he showed jesus there are people who nothing stops them on earth because the factor to stop them has negotiated with them so their life will be so easy and you will look at them and say ah what is this and satan will say likewise go and ask any rich man you know you first talk about this they will, they will turn and say don't don't disturb me they know it's not a lie whether young or old i'm not talking of 1 million 20 go and meet somebody he will tell you there is nobody that rises to certain influence without bowing to someone it has to be god or satan the power of strongholds that satan can capture your mind when he captures your mind you have bowed to him it's not by doing this that means the same way 
when you will your mind to God and say this is an instrument oh Lord put something upon my mind put something upon my life all of a sudden an anointing comes upon your mind and my brother my sister your life will be a sign and a wonder even to you that men will look at you and say Kai this thing is not normal it's true it's not normal it can be normal you see what is going on in this ministry we will be foolish to imagine it's normal no the mystery of strongholds it says pulling down strongholds what strongholds that by, by bet satan has programmed zaria already sins satan has programmed nigeria sins listen satan does not go around just chasing you he's too busy to look for you there is already a programming as you are between 10 to 15 there is one that kicks off between 15 to 20 there is it kicks off till you become an old man and paul said if you want to fight warfare don't just cast spirits alone if you want to fight warfare attack the programming something has happened to you that's why the people in your village behave the same way no spirit directly appears to them everyone in your village is angry it's not just that an individual demon is running a programming happened you enter a territory and all the ladies from 13 14 15 all pregnant no matter how nice they are it's a programming and it says you are not free no that means i can cast a demon from you that demon will go but when the stronghold that mindset is there the demon still calls you home he goes through desert regions and said there are no human beings here and returns back and sits down and calls others more greater than it is and the bible says the end of that man will be worse than the beginning So he said let this mind be in you let this mind be in you there is something satan has programmed that will never allow any that's why satan when satan does that programming he will let you go to church because he knows the kind of pastor you will meet so he's not afraid go 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 for the conference go for the convention and you can fast for 10 days and he won't disturb you pray fast he already knows what he has gotten but by the time a man of God begins to talk to you about this stronghold then you start seeing agitations he will start coming you are you are touching a nerve that matters in the spirit what is going on here who is teaching this why do you know how you have been called out of every tribe and tongue and nation not just because you are born again but that you have been given access there is an anointing that can teach you it can start teaching you something new that is not in agreement with what satan has programmed you into be and all of a sudden your life will begin to close the door for darkness to find expression jesus said satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself that means he puts something of himself in everyone so as he keeps moving around over a territory you say i see these are my people he identifies you by what he put in you but he looked at Jesus he said why are you different he looked at Babylon and saw everyone with it but he saw three Hebrew boys he said no destroy these three boys why did they? that is it's like the mark of the beast he put it in everyone so you are born you, you can be educated be as educated as you want to be marry have children but that programming remains there but in this week of seven days prayer and fasting my brother my sister the mistake satan made was to allow you to be part of this program because something will the, listen listen this thing i teach you is that old wine skin that god must take away the problem is not just the wine the wine skin itself cannot take what god is doing let me tell you this if satan could kill me that would be his number one assignment to kill this guy let him just die and let this thing be over when you know this about satan he will pass you like this and you will pass him i tell you the truth it's true he came to jesus did not find anything of himself and he kept waiting 
how do i manipulate so satan's job on earth is not just to come to individuals so is to watch over territories and governments all the captains of industries all without exception all people of influence there has been a fraternity with a spirit somewhere either the spirit of the lord god almighty or this mystery that i'm telling you luke chapter 4 is a reality that must happen before any kind of influence is established on earth he said all this have been given unto me and i will give anybody i choose did you hear satan say that so don't be surprised when a musician sings nonsense and all of a sudden two million copies sell in one month that anointing was put upon that record label he sang rubbish but you listen to it you don't even want to dance and soon you find out you are shaking your head something is wrong with you that music is doing something you don't want to listen but you put it in your phone and save it as gospel music in the night you just quietly listen and as you are listening that that reprogramming is happening again this thing is not the issue of just spirits chasing you no this is an issue of something a mindset a stronghold their job is just to supervise because they know it will always be with you it's with you while you study it's with you while you graduate the moment you become the ceo of a company satan laughs because all those 130 people in that company have through that stronghold come under his influence this is what makes him the prince of darkness that guy you see is still using his anointing go and meet satan today and tell him give me an anointing an anointing to sing or dance or do whatever agree with him the plan is going to be make sure at every point you find a way of capturing these people to me so he gives you influence then you give them back read revelation 13 they bow to the antichrist you see that now the who now worships the beast so satan will not come directly he will send you like a businessman who sends someone in front to be doing business for him but it's his own so this lady all of a sudden satan now says and there are other agents like that on earth so they know who is initiated so immediately they work things out for you if it's capital you need you get it fast if it's access to record labels you get it fast within one month your album is everywhere and you who is a believer i won't bow to satan but no spiritual intelligence not only will you not move they will crush you intentionally You want to become a millionaire look for welfare that's why i tell you it's not the issue of business you can do all the business you want a day will come you will get to a level that you will see people in the bank looking at you they all know themselves you travel somewhere they look at you in the plane that's why they ask you a question what do you do what do you do they are not stupid they are saying are we together are we a team and you say no i'm from another camp how did you get here how did you get here this our dull world where the devil keeps manipulating and men just look and say you mean it you are 26 and you're a billionaire didn't you go to school who rises like that look at all these guys producing garbages everything they produce must work because they have sold not just their soul but their minds have you heard of that selling your soul it's not your spirit you take your mind and say satan this is the bargain give me influence and i give you men and so he puts that anointing on you that's why when people see young people like us and see what god is doing because they know they will look at you like a suspect and say could it be that you too you have received something from those people are you seeing why the influence of jesus dissolves some people crowds followed him to the mountain everywhere and the scribes sat down and said something is wrong go. this guy is running us out of business and so they concluded that the answer is to kill him and the bible calls it the hidden wisdom of god god planned it that way they were scheming his killing to the point that they were willing to release barabbas barabbas that was a notorious criminal they said we rather release him 
we can always capture his mind again but let's kill this jesus listen do you know why i'm teaching you this there is something about your life that satan is already seeing they are watching you everywhere nobody has risen like this normally in your village and all of a sudden you are rising you are even fasting seven days and in your mind you believe as you are fasting you are driving all of them very soon you will begin to have encounters and the devil will come like look for and try to tell you look let me make this job easy for you i know what you are looking for is it not admission is it not greatness is it not influence is it not this we can negotiate it to you you just had a dream i had a dream and that's it and you get up anybody that stops you just dies and you think you are powerful one day the devil will remind you that i've been backing you up for 20 years it's time to give something back now and my demand is your firstborn and your wife the bible say mark the wicked something will always happen in their lives that will let you know this was not normal Go and give this message to a very wealthy businessman when he leaves he will pieces the cassette and throw it away tell you this is be careful with all these young boys be very careful be careful are you listening to what i'm teaching you because we are going to pray a stronghold is not just demonic a stronghold is an information that has become a programming in your mind that makes you loyal to the sender the sender of that the, a stronghold is like a chain that holds your mind and so satan captures men like this that's why the greatest miracle that can happen to you is the opening of your understanding i keep telling you this the bible says then open he their understanding the miracle that needs to happen to you tonight my brother my sister is not just a miracle of healing the sick there is something that happens to your mind and that sickness will go there is something that will not happen to your mind and you may be healed tonight and by next week it has come back casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ bringing every thought look at me this is where it is this is where your poverty is this is where the suffering is this is what strengthens the causes to walk there is something that has been programmed that makes you even if a man of God says you are free all of a sudden the devil knows that he's still in your mind and he will show you one dream that takes you back he knows he's a master manipulator Satan from whence cometh thou from moving to and fro the earth doing what just going around kingdoms and seeing which kingdom belongs to me ah this one does not belong to me okay who are the kings in that kingdom and he captures them and then leaves the kingdom and goes to another one this is his work this is his work but in the next few minutes we are going to pray i don't know about you but listen this is where god brought me freedom I saw people in my lineage I saw people where I came from helpless have you not seen the way people's results are still the same regardless of vocation reg some are even pastors whatever it is still the same a stronghold but he said the weapons of our warfare he will let you do your business provided that mindset is there continue doing it he will give you access but that you want to route it another way not him you must fight a fight of warfare the governments the systems of this world listen listen you are a civil servant no problem do your thing they promote you first promotion that's all right second promotion that's all right by the time you get to the third promotion 
you will find out that people who should not be talking about your issue are saying come on it is after the third promotion they now say boy this person is evil but it's, it's a lie it's not evil anything there are people who are under the influence of that's the devil pulling that string do something this guy is not for us if you allow him rise he will recruit people because if you allow him rise he will be in a board meeting with all the executives and he will play a message and there is power in that message they will hear and when they get born again they will go back to their subunits and do the same thing let me tell you something satan can lose a territory if those are both surrender to god satan can lose a territory in one week the secret to world evangelization or world dominion is not just evangelism is influence that's why when jesus was preaching every time he saw an influential man he stopped he saw the centurion he said no 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 let me go he saw zacchaeus he said zacchaeus you have influence you are a tax collector you are the head of cbn come down i'm going to your house because by visiting you that something will happen to that territory listen satan does not walk the way we think he is that he pursues you as an individual he doesn't have that time do you know what it takes for satan to zoom his attention on you no he just puts little demons around to just supervise what he has done when you are about deviating here they just coordinate you one sickness one headache just to bring you back like a buffer solution but satan himself he's on earth satan is on earth my question is who now is in his mind that's the person you should respect who now is giving satan sleeplessness when satan comes to zaria if he's to talk to one person who will it be who is satan so threatened my assignment is to make you that person that there is something about your understanding that the moment you go home in two weeks everyone who is not saved is saved doors are opened and they say what is all this we believe in bowing down to a shrine but you came to this house and favor started coming listen this is what happened when god wanted to lift joseph all the diviners had a formula for getting answers and god shot the heaven and said joseph go the people were surprised the king was disappointed you are my wise men you are my sorcerers and you could not interpret my dream and the lord brought joseph and they were watching ready to laugh like janus and jambes that's why they were surprised moses where did you come from who taught you how to turn a rod he said i met with another man i, I had an encounter the anointed cherub that covereth like an eagle spread her wings he covers businesses he covers great men he covers husbands he covers wives he covers families and says nobody comes within this circumference without making allegiance to me so paul says when you are about to fight warfare don't just focus on that spirit trying to find out what is the name of the spirit the spirit too is on assignment the real thing to conquer is the programming is someone ready to pray tonight open your mouth and begin to bless in tongues Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. 
Somebody's hands. Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every handwriting. Every handwriting. Every ordinance. Every ordinance. Every programming. Every programming. Over my lineage. Over my lineage. Over my territory. Over my territory. Over my mind. Over my mind. I command you. I command you. Be destroyed now. Open your mouth and pray. effect in other words even if you prophesy to those people in the name of jesus let your life change that that programming can fight the potency it's true i like you to pray and say every mindset say it again every mindset every mindset that was in my father that was in my father that was in my mother that was in my mother that was responsible for their low life for their low life. for their defeat for their defeat and it's in me now it's in me now by the blood of jesus by the blood i come against you Take 
about this anointing you know why the bible says i will multiply them they will not be few i will glorify them listen there is an anointing that if god puts on your mind that idea must expand no that's how it works there is an anointing that if god puts on your ministry it will bring people under loyalty to the vision that god has given you listen you are a businessman without this anointing your products will not go far i tell you this i like you to say in the name of jesus in the name, name of, of jesus, jesus the anointing the, the anointing, anointing that brings influence that, that brings influence, influence the anointing the anointing for performance for, for performance, performance the anointing the anointing for expansion for expansion i receive it now i receive it now. about a message from a ministry in Zaria that somebody will collect it in the US, in the UK and his assignment is to make sure everybody hears it you to think, what is it that will make a taxi driver drive in and koinonia message is playing that you go to fix your phone and without your permission someone transfers messages there is an anointing oh there is a grace. We are going to pray this thing. No, don't be foolish. Because let me tell you this. This is why many people remain small. It's not by traveling abroad. It's by what you are carrying, having wings in the spirit. There is a grace that gives the works of your hands wings. You will be in a cave like Elijah. And no man will come and look for you. He said, Gentiles shall come to your light, and kings, you won't go to them. This anointing will draw them. Lift your voice. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Lift your hands, everybody. You want to embarrass your people now. In the name of Jesus, I bless you. Now watch this. I command by the you anointing of the God. Spirit of God. Bless you now. Go Be with this strange anointing right now. Go and increase and multiply. Watch this. This I decree and declare that from tonight, everybody the grace of God is at You must in. understand this. I want to be very simple. In the name of Jesus Christ. You may not remember what Alleluia. I'm saying. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Here. Are you getting my point? Praise the Lord. This okay, I may not have time to see people. And we have to close and please evacuate this place. The life and the uh, of at least within a few minutes, let's tidy up. Where the culture of Cape Friends is not the issue. Let's share the grace. Here now. Is that the true? grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Are you following what I'm saying now? The love of God. This guy, the Holy Ghost, listen, is from Kogi State. Hello. And there is a way. There Scriptures is a exalt us there is a life. from is the book true? of Proverbs. This lady is is my son. I you say me to now? my sins, there is a culture. incline that for instance, ears to my word. Let you them know not how she's depart going to from thy right? eyes is that true? and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe, you believe instance, that you are going to read the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on this world. And as you have been blessed, we tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you